okay guys so i just finished installing my nest third generation thermostat uh, it took me a while to configure the wiring but after you understand this is fairly an easy job so i installed this uh, nest thermostat on my independent c24 combi boiler so once you understand the wiring which is shown here it's gonna be fairly easy for you to how to install it so the way I did it when I show you here on my boiler I used uh, a cable with the three wires in it so on my boiler you can see this is the position uh, this is this is the location where it says on my boiler room stat so this is the position where it should uh, be connected to your cable but before that before there wasn't any thermostat on it so it was uh, these two points these and these two points they were connected via jump as shown in the picture so basically I used this cable this cable here this cable is connected to the heat link which is going down there there this is the cable coming down here from there and it's coming in here so that cable let me show you let me show you the diagram as well so if you see here this is this is this is the cable this point here these two connected at two and three are the one which are connected to my boiler so there are two diagrams here on the and the instruction manual one is 230 volt combi boiler and one is low voltage dry contact combi boiler so the first diagram the first diagram you're using you only use if these two wires let me put it down and tell you if you're going to connect the boiler via the heat link so what is happening in this diagram live and supply voltage is coming into point two three onto your nest uh, heat link and from there if you can see from point three the live wire is going to your live on the boiler okay and then from point two it's jumped to point one so you can make a jump but i did not use this one I use this diagram here so if you look there the first wire on your left is the power supply neutral and live neutral and live it is a power supply coming to your nest nest uh, heat link and that cable is this one if you can see here okay this cable here so that two wires they are supplying the power to their heat link and these two these two cables connected at point two three they are the controller cables which are coming coming up from there coming in and connected to these two points so these two points they don't have to be like in the same configuration like blue and brown you can turn them around in blue and the other one as well so it is a fairly easy job it's not a tough job to do it it's only like one it takes a while to understand where you're gonna connect okay if you have any questions please put them in the comments and uh, please do like the videos and please uh, if you don't feel that you can you will be able to do it don't do it get a professional to do it for you thank you